featuring Erin Lee from Canada. Well, she's not little anymore, but she was little at the time. She was a girl that I taught dance to, and she was a very intelligent, quirky, clumsy little girl who I just thought, that's my Maggie. Her name isn't actually Maggie, but she does have bright red hair. And uh, so she was the girl that I wanted in, in my book, which is this girl right here. Um, and that is my cat in real life. Bye. Kathleen Davis from the US. Lady, I was teaching in Tampa in Ybor City and this lady came in and was like, you have to have structure. Your kids, children thrive in a structured atmosphere. And so if things are unorganized and if things are tidy and if you don't have structure as far as like your, your the way your day is laid out and just every part of your day, then your kids feel that and their actions reflect that. Judith Russell from Australia. Children do the wrong thing. Very short stories where they do the wrong thing and then die and they all have little bits of advice in rhyme at the end like greedy children always tend to meet with a disastrous end. And then in between the stories are little bits of advice for life about living in Victorian times. It's just a, it's meant to be funny, but it's a very dark. Holly DeBella McCarthy from the US. Uh, oh, the number word one is in my book. Not W-O-N, but O-N-E. How do you sound that out? If you use the traditional way, it would be ah, mm, eh, ah, nah. So it's not the word. So that's a high frequency sight word. And I really tried to infuse my book with those words so that kids could gain that knowledge before entering school. And Wendy Orr from Australia. This security thing about 15 times. And she said, oh, you're doing it today. Isn't it boring? So still. It was just incredible because it was like, why is Jodie Foster talking to that nondescript woman? <laughs> and somebody came up to me later and said, are you family? <laughs> Mark your calendars, April 23rd to April 27th. Stay tuned.